This is an instructional video for an HP 33120A function generator. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is make sure that the function generator is connected to power. Um, and then you can connect the output. You can see it says output of the function generator via BNC cable to whatever circuit or device you're using this with. Now that you have it plugged in, you're going to want to uh, power it up. All right, when it powers up, you'll see that it defaults to one kilohertz sine wave. Uh, you can choose your waveform along this first row of buttons. Uh, your options are sine wave, square wave, uh, triangle wave, uh, salt sawtooth wave, um, noise, uh, or random, and then an arbitrary value. Of course, uh, you can add modulation using shift, but that's really outside the realm of what you would do in a circuits class. Okay, so uh, let's start with sine wave. And now that we have a sine wave chosen, uh, we can set the frequency by clicking on frequency. And uh, then we can either use the scroll wheel up here to adjust the frequency or the arrow keys. And you can see that by where you set the arrow key, it shows you by what unit it changes as you use the scroll wheel or the up and down arrow keys. Okay, so uh, let's use this newfound knowledge to uh, set this to be 10 hertz. Um, we first want to go down by hundreds, that'll make our lives easier, and then we can go down by tens and make this 10 hertz. All right, now that we have our frequency set, we might want to change our amplitude. You can see that uh, the amplitude is set here, um, and if I make this say one volt, we would go over to here and simply go up. Now it reads one volt uh, peak to peak, uh, but just an artifact of the way that these are designed. Uh, what this really means is that it's one volt of peak positive and minus one volt peak negative. Um, so just keep that in mind. Uh, alternatively, you can set the amplitude uh, using RMS by choosing different options over here. Uh, of course, uh, you could calculate the RMS value you need and figure that out ahead of time. Um, and then the last thing you might want to do is change the offset. Um, so what the offset does is it changes the center of uh, the uh, repeating waveform. And so if you're, for example, applying a step and you want it to be zero and then go to a voltage and then return to zero, you can change the offset in that way. Uh, this is pretty much all you need to know to uh, get uh, this device to do what you want. Again, you can change the type of waveform. Uh, and so when you change it, it actually shows up over here uh, and you're able to visualize exactly what waveform you're working with.